Hi, Dad. How are we today? Ah. Same as yesterday. Now, Dad. Now, Dad what? You know what I mean. Did you take your pills? Dad, remember what Dr. Kavnis said? Of course I took them. And did you go for your walk? Yes, yes, yes. Well, actually I didn't. I'll go later. Dad, remember what Dr. Kavnis said? Don't forget to take your pills and go for a walk at least half an hour every day. It keeps your cholesterol down. It's good for your heart. And Melda, dear, I know all that. Don't be so fussy, will you? Someone has to look out for you since your last stroke. Now that you're on your own. I'm well able to look after myself. And I have no plans to kick the bucket yet. I just want to make sure you're looking after yourself. Not have a relapse like the last time. Here, put that under your cup. We don't want stains on the table. Dad. You happy now? I'm just... Have you any clothes for the wash? I don't them myself. Now, Dad. Calm down. You calm down. They're in the washing machine. For God's sake, do you think I can't use a washing machine? Sure. It's easy. It's not like as if you're a fine a 747. Switch it on. Wait for it to stop. Take the clothes out and put them into the dryer. And who's going to make sure they're properly dry and ironed? See those hands? Those hands are amazing. They can butter the bread, you can peel the potatoes, you can hold knife and forks and can even iron. Well, as long as you... Well, you I haven't starved yet, have I? Oh, would you like a coffee? Oh. Is that that instant stuff? Oh, that can't be good for you. That can't do your stomach any good. Why don't you use the percolator? Ah, uh, couldn't be bothered. Takes too long. Well, I have to rush up to pick Orla up from school. Right, right. Okay. Uh, yeah, and you will look after yourself? Yeah, me yourself. Yeah, bye bye. Bye. Fussedness come from with Amelda. She was never like that. I was laid back. Growing up, it's not like her. There's something not right there, but that's her business, I suppose. And it's not my place to interfere, but I suppose I'll hear about it sometime. And there was something else I wanted to talk to you about. Uh, it's very lonely here, living on my own. And you remember, Mags, you are very good friends. And I go for walks and I... And we get talking. You know how it is. Oh, you're trying to get me drunk here now, Jimmy. No, 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 Are you sure about this? Will you not be against it? Are you? Oh, I don't know. See, I don't want to come between you and your family, Jimmy. How can you be come between me and my family? I have only one daughter and a brother who I haven't seen in 10 years living in New Zealand. But marriage, at our age. Marriage, when marriage at any, at any age is fine by me. But surely your wife? Well, she's gone over two years and your Pat is over three and it's not as if we're doing anything against anybody behind their back. And never in my wildest dreams 
thought like this could ever happen to me at this stage of my life. And who knows how long we have. And we have a right to be happy. I sure wouldn't be and your wife Maureen great friends. But uh, you know what, I'll have to think about it. I'll have to think about it. But I'm sure Maureen would have no objections anyway. Yeah. I still have to think about it. Give me a little bit of time. A week? A week? God preserve us. He will. Don't you fret. Uh. And I have a, a house over there, as well as you know, living there on my own. Much too big for one. And I have a lovely comfort with the bed to go with it as well. I'll go on with you. <laughs> <laughs> and what did he say? Oh, the usual. He's looking after himself. Sure, I can't help but worrying about him. He's nearly 80. And he's already had one stroke. I know it was very mild and it was a small relapse. We don't need another one. He might not get over the next. Sure, maybe he's right. Maybe I don't worry too much. I mean, you have enough to be worrying about, besides your dad. Orla, put them back. You've had enough. Oh, ma'am, just one. And put that tablet away. Get your homework done. It's done, and I'm watching a programme the teacher told us to watch for a history class. Okay, but as soon as it's over. Okay. We never had it so easy. No tech for us, just big books. Well, I better head. Are you coming to the book club on Friday? God, I haven't even opened that book yet. If I get time. I'll tell you a secret. Not a word to the other's mind. I rarely read the books. I Google them and read the reviews. <laughs> Do a travel That's what I do too. See you. See you. Bye. Orla, is that program over yet? Hi, Dad. How are you? Oh, hi. Ah, couldn't be better. Did a bit of dusting. Mum's photograph. And our collection of stones, where are they? Uh, can you sit down? I have something to tell you. I have something to tell you too. Sean and I talked it over last night and we've come to the conclusion that you need to get someone in to help you with the house, the cleaning and such like. I'm back to work and I simply haven't got the time. <laughs> What's so funny? Well, I was just thinking the same. I was thinking about what you said, so I decided to do something about it. So I got myself a little helper. Yeah. This is Nolan. I did mean it that way. But Dad, this is Nolan. Max, please. What, what, what do you oh. mean? Helper. Oh my God, you're not thinking of... How about congratulations? What? I don't think I can. I don't know what to say. I accept that your dear old dad can be happy. And I might want happiness like anybody else, young or old. And maybe he might want to make somebody well. else happy as well. Don't you want your dear old dad to be happy? Of course. But it's just so sudden. It's, it's a shock. Well, I hope it's a nice shock. It's simple. Accept it and it all fall into place. No. She'll come around. Just give her a bit of time. Oh, I hope so, Jimmy. I really hope so. It's hard to believe. But I suppose it's not as if he's doing anything wrong. And he's free to do what he wants. You're right, but it's hard to take. I never thought I'd end up with a stepmother. A wicked stepmother. She's hardly that. We're getting married to Mrs. Nolan. I mean, 
How long has this idea been in his head? Is he playing around behind Mum's back? Now, don't go down that road. You'll only get caught up in what ifs, and that'll do you no good. Yeah, I know. I mean, think of your dad. He's getting on, he's lonely. How much time does he have left? And Mike's Nolan. We've been neighbours for you as long as I can remember. And you too. And her Mary and you and me. We were best friends at school. We, we were at her house nearly as often as we were at her own. You're right as usual. <laughs> Maybe I'm just being selfish. I mean, I'm going back to work and I won't have as much time as before. There you have it. It's all falling into place. But I suppose it's not as if he's doing anything wrong. He's free to do what he wants. To accept that your dear old dad can be happy. And I might want happiness like anybody else, young or old. And maybe he might want to make somebody else happy as well. Don't you want your dear old dad to be happy? There you have it. It's all falling into place. Dad, I thought about what you said and I didn't want to leave it too long before we sat down and chat again. Well, it's always nice to see you. It's a pity Jimmy wouldn't take a hint. Will I put the kettle on? No, no, I, I won't stay. I'll just call for a minute. I was thinking about you and Mrs Nolan. Mags? Yes, well, as I said, I was thinking and... Yeah, but if that's... What you really want. If that will make you happy. Both of you. <laughs> it will. It will. I thank you. I was worried. But I'm delighted that you changed your mind. <laughs> yeah, but I think I'm a wee bit beyond being a bridesmaid. No. Oh no. Not a bridesmaid. Or I can be bridesmaid. We'll dress her up nice and pretty. And you can be the best man. Okay. But as long as I can give you away.